mosquito is the nest. We're a nurturing program, and these clients, they want to know that you care about them. Nurturing gives them hope, a sense of belonging. We want to ensure that all of our clients receive quality services. As a case manager, I wear many hats. I'm a teacher, I'm a mentor, I'm a listener. Many of my clients are attending high school or college, and we have their kids sitting right next to them doing their homework. And you'll see mom struggling to balance those two responsibilities and making the best out of that, and often feeling guilty for that. And I, as a case manager, try to assure her that she's doing the best she can for her child. As these kids see their mom and dad struggling and balancing work and school and taking care of them, they're giving them the best example that they could ever offer these kids. And that's how we're helping prevent a second generation of teen fathers and teen mothers. When I speak to my clients from the heart, I get teary. And they're like, why do you cry? I said, because I care. And I'm honored to be there to help them break those barriers. And when I do, it, get, it, it becomes very emotional for me. Parent education is the key that start waking up parents. When the clients come to the program, basically they are coming because they are having problems with their children. They end up abusing their children. They are facing their own issues that they have not been able to recognize that they're being abused and they are continuing the cycle. And so they learn in our program a lot of how to recognize where they are and the way they can be helping their children. El Nido has been such a critical partner in meeting the needs of parents and understanding their role as parents in the United States. For children to be successful, parents have to feel very comfortable themselves and feel that they are the leaders of their households. They were not really taught about how to be a parent. And so they repeat what they learn from their parents and sometimes what they learn is not the best way to teach their kids and that will be sometimes abusive. El Nido is like a family. They take the time and understand what you're going through. And other agencies that I've tried, really like sign your paperwork and get in and get out. And El Nido has helped me a lot and I felt really, really comfortable with them. Parents has to be aware that they are facing a lot of challenges in their lives. They don't know how to relieve that stress, so we teach them the, uh, how to uh, manage their stress. My children are really shocked with my, with my dramatic transformation, especially my nine-year-old. If parents become aware and they treat the children with respect and dignity, then we'll have different citizens. Somebody told me about this place called El Nido. And I had an appointment with some chick named Cynthia. And I thought, oh God, a woman. I don't fare well with women. And I met Cynthia. And Cynthia was strong. It's always a new experience with each new client. Diane was just this sweet woman that came in, but she was in a lot of pain. When I was working with Cynthia, I learned several different things. We were able to redefine what kind of mother I was going to be. Cynthia allowed me to vent and explore a lot of things that I had inside, had bottled up. She pushed for me to be myself, a healthy self, and no matter how much I had the cards stacked against me, to not go back to where I came from. We specifically deal with students who are over the age of 16, who have fallen behind in credits, and have an assortment of other behavioral issues. Attendance problems, family issues with drugs, alcohol, domestic abuse, gang affiliation. We invited El Nido to come onto our campus. And we began with doing some group counseling for our students, just kind of how to deal with being a teenager. I liked it because there was like, not just me, it was like a whole group of students. And like we all had like, when we would talk about our problems, Everybody could relate to it, so instead of like you feeling left out and like you were the only one, we could all talk about it, and I think that helped us a lot. We no longer ask the students, can you please be a part of this? They come to us. We've changed the school to be a positive family atmosphere with incredible attendance returns and 
Now we're seeing increase in classes. I, I can't say that we could have done that without El Nido. One of the things in our communities, in our low-income communities, what we find is men are missing in the homes. So the Real Men Camp program was funded to address the high rate of teen pregnancy in the community. We need something that also empowers young men to, get, to show them their responsibility. So from that concept, the Real Men Camp program was born. I became involved because I had to do community service for the court, and they helped me stay out of trouble. The young men can be responsible, can be good fathers, can prevent teen pregnancy if they're given the right tools, the right resources. For example, we have the Access Wall Street program that was started by two of our ex-board members that worked for Merrill Lynch, and they wanted to teach young people about the stock market. Access Wall Street was a program to provide inner city young people with opportunities to learn about finance, about economics, about Wall Street, about business, about politics, and it was designed to be completely integrated in a way that they could use the skills that they learned to better themselves and sort of see outside of their neighborhood, their world, their school, uh, and really be exposed to things that maybe they wouldn't have otherwise an opportunity to be exposed to. The staff that El Nido brings to the table have been fantastic. They understand the community, they connect with people in the community, and it shows. It isn't just about coming and filling a contractual commitment. They understand the mission and the vision of what we are trying to accomplish, and they help us adapt our programs, and that's what a real partnership is about. We need healthy communities. We need people who can read and write, who graduate from high school, go to college. And so why wouldn't we want to foster education? Why wouldn't we want to keep kids in, in school? Why wouldn't we want to make sure that families are healthy and to prevent kids from joining gangs and keep them in after school programs? All of these things make perfect sense for corporations. What I learned at El Nido was how to, to be a, a healthy mother a strong woman. It's easy to say I love you, but to really, really mean it, that's what El Nido teaches you. El Nido saved my life. I truly believe that.